Hey everyone, so in this video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick breakdown of my innovative cart and some of the new additions that I've kind of added on to it. It's still a work in progress, but I just wanted to give a quick walkthrough on what I have going so far. So let's get into it. So as you can see, I have um, two cameras mounted onto the innovative cart here. Let me get a wider view. Um, this is just an FS5, but ideally I'll have my FX3 on this side, then another FX3 on this side. And I'm just using, it's crazy, but it's just drum hardware. So literally this is what you would use on like a bigger drum set to mount like additional accessories like toms or uh, cymbals or whatnot. But um, yeah, these clamps are like 20 bucks on Amazon and they work perfectly with the diameter of the innovative cart. And then I just repurposed some like old um, C-stands, uh, little uh, C-stands there. Um, and then it just mounts onto uh, this is like a monopod style um, thing. I'll, I'll leave description and, and um, links below, but then I just repurpose an old tripod head. And honestly, I, I'm mostly using this system so I don't have to bring camera cases with me. I can just literally just mount cameras onto the cart and then I save a bunch of additional space here without having to like bring the actual camera cases. So when I show up to a gig, I just mount cameras and then they're pretty much ready to go. Um, so that's the idea of wanting to mount them to the cart um, as opposed to keeping them on cases. Yeah, so two cameras and the way I have them mounted is they're kind of out of the way. Um, of the cart, I might end up putting both of them on this side. So having that camera mounted onto this pole here. So that way when I'm pushing the cart, I have two, I have both cameras on this side so I can kind of watch them going through like doorways. It, it kind of freaks me out a little bit having that one on that side there. Um, that it might get knocked going through a door or something. So having them both on this side, I think I'm going to end up doing that. It, like I said, this is still kind of a work in progress for me, but it's something that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, and then I was going to, I looked into getting the innovative version of the tripod system um, with the the center mass system that, that has the actual um, tripod head holder, but the whole system was a little bit out of my budget. I want to say it was like somewhere in the ballpark of like 600, 700 bucks. Uh, and then there, there's just a whole lot of other accessories you have to buy to make that thing work the way I wanted it to work. So out the door, you know, it was going to be like another 600 bucks. Just didn't really want to spend that kind of money on on this. Um, other accessories, I don't really mind as much, but that one in particular, I wasn't going to really do any smooth moves. I, I just really just wanted a way to mount the cameras. I wasn't going to do any panning or tilting off of the cart. But um, yeah, so I went with this route instead. And like I said, each of these were like 20 bucks. So that's 60 bucks right here. And then another 40 bucks, 100 bucks, pretty much. And then the other items I already had and I repurposed. But yeah, these clamps are, there's so many possibilities you can do with them. Like right here, I have an umbrella attached. And that's just a cheap umbrella from like Home Depot or something. I'll probably end up getting like a larger umbrella um, that will cover more of the cart. So maybe like a, 72 inch umbrella or 82 inch, um, like one of those big golf umbrellas. Or, I mean, I could just mount another one on this side and then just have two umbrellas. And I'm not really thinking the umbrellas for like rain or any, I mean, it'll definitely help for rain, but I mostly wanted an umbrella because we do a lot of 
outdoor shoots here in Arkansas. So it's nice just having a little bit of uh, cover on the cart, especially if I'm going to have a monitor set up. Um, you know, it saves having to put like a big four by four floppy up or anything like that. I can just leave it on the cart and then just have a little bit of shade for whoever wants to see the monitor. So that's the idea. And I have the, the OC Megamon 15 monitor here set up. I'm actually going to get another one. So having one synced to each camera monitor on this camera and then monitor for B camera here and just having them on the cart or on a stand right now. I just have a, a little, um, a little, uh, wood mount, um, with a wall to baby pin adapter. Um, I use that a lot for like lights to get them on the ground but it works fine for this, this monitor as well. I think this monitor has feet. Um, I just have to attach them. I have to look to see if it came with feet. I'm pretty sure they do, but yeah. So I have another monitor ordered. Um, so that's on its way. So I'll have two monitors. Um, I thought about doing the split screen, but I mean, it, a 15 inch screen is just so small. And then just having two little images here, it just doesn't really make a lot of sense or even like a, a quad split on a 15 inch monitor. I mean, then you're back into having like a little 15, little five inch or seven inch monitor display. So I just thought it's cleaner just to have two separate monitors, one for each camera. Um, and then another component I ordered for the cart was a middle shelf from Innovative. And it's literally gonna sit on this point here and attach to this, this crossbar here. And I'm gonna use it for my slider. So having a shelf here, I'll be able to put my slider right here and then still have enough clearance to get, you know, cases out um, on the bottom. And then the slider won't take up the whole entire space so I can put other little additional items here as well. Um, so that's the idea is getting a middle shelf and I ordered that from Innovative and I don't know if they make the shelves to order, but it's gonna take a little bit of time to get here. So I'm probably gonna miss it for a couple of shoots, but for now, that's the idea is getting a middle shelf so I can utilize some of that space. And if I'm not using the slider, I have a bunch of these like half milk crates that will fit perfectly across that top part there. So that way, you know, I don't have to, if I need something from here, I don't have to take it off and then pull this out and then put the other half crate in. I can just have two half crates here and then the other stuff accessible down here. But yeah, so that's kind of my cart set up right now. I have the two C-stands here. I can put a an additional C-stand here. Um, so I'll have three C-stands, but I gotta move this guy over to that side, which I'm gonna do, I think, anyways. So I have to order some more C-stand clamps uh, from Innovative here. I'll probably order another set of two just have the third one here and then possibly I can mount another C stand right here in the middle if there's enough clearance between the two camera setups. We'll see. But yeah, this is kind of my setup so far. And I've had a couple of people ask why I went with the 36 inch cart instead of like the 42. Um, Honestly, the only reason I went with the 36 is so that it would fit inside my van set up a little bit better. Uh, having the 42 inch in there, it just takes up way too much room and I don't have any um, room to put other things in there. So that's why I went with the 36. It's like perfect dimensions for my setup. And honestly, it, it's still a lot of cart real estate. It would have been nice to have a little bit more I think with the 42 inch, it's literally just extended out this way. So having a little bit more cart, 
but I get a little worried, um, you know, going through like doorways and stuff. Like I feel like 42 inches is pretty long and I've used that cart before and it's, it's great. But I think for the kind of work that I do, the 36, uh, works a little bit better for me. Yeah. I've been happy with it ever since it's obviously one of those things where it's not that fun of, inv of an investment. I probably would have rather, rather have spent the money on like a camera or a lens or anything like that. But um, honestly, it's nice having a really solid production cart um, where you can do types of, where, where you can do like builds like this and it just, everything just feels very sec secure and sturdy. Like this is not going anywhere and you don't have to worry about that sort of thing. Um, but yeah. So it's definitely worth the investment. If you guys do get an innovative cart, honestly, I would wait for their sale. They have a sale once a year. It's like end of year. I think I got this cart like in October or something last year. And you can save quite a bit of money uh, waiting for the sale. They don't charge like shipping. They don't charge tax. And then it's like 30% off everything store wide. So accessories, cart, um, you name it. Um, so I would definitely wait to purchase because you can, I mean, you can save, I think I saved like 1200 bucks with like the cart and the accessories and all that. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth the investment and it's worth waiting. I would just recommend going with that sale. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'll, I'll keep you in the loop as I keep uh, plugging away at this cart and, and adding more accessories. I think that shelf should be here in about two weeks. Um, and then the other monitor should be here probably in a week. So I'll keep you guys updated as we go and, and post another video probably in a few few weeks on this cart build. But yeah, it's going to be a fun um, month in april i already have a bunch of stuff lined up and it's going to be extremely busy so i'm looking forward to getting this cart in working condition ready to go um, for those shoots i think i have maybe 12 days so far booked for april but some of those are actually some of those are like soft holds so probably more like eight actual days and then four i'm still waiting to hear back but yeah it's going to be pretty crazy april and i'm looking forward to posting a lot more and taking you guys along with me but yeah thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one